Good morning students. Welcome to SST. So simple tutorial. In the previous class, we read about the creation of linguistic states and the language policy followed by our country. We saw that the language policy followed by our leaders clearly shows the respect for diversity and hence it strengthens federalism. Today, we will read the third head, center state relations. This is yet another aspect which has led to the success of federalism in our country. So all of you open page number 20 of your textbook. Here you will be able to analyze the relationship between the center and the states in the initial years after the constitution came into force and the relationship that exists today. The independent existence of the two levels of government is very much important in a federation. Before I start the lesson, I want to discuss a term coalition government. What is a coalition government? This term will be used in the discussion soon. So look at the glossary. A government formed by the coming together of at least two political parties. Usually the partners in a coalition form a political alliance and adopt a common program, commonly known as common minimum program. This normally happens when no single party gets sufficient numbers to form the government. Ok, now let us start the topic. If you look back to see which party ruled at the center since independence, you will be surprised to see that it was only one party that is the Indian National Congress that ruled since independence till about 1990 with a small break from 1977 to 1980. Such a long time. Not only this, this party ruled in the states also. That means the same party ruled both at the center and the states. The result was that the states could not freely exercise its powers. The state government could not exercise their rights as autonomous federating units. But the center state relations by and large remained smooth due to one party ruling at the center as well as the states. But as and when the ruling party at the state level was different, the parties that ruled the center tried to undermine the power of the states. In those days, the central government would often misuse the constitution to dismiss the state governments that were controlled by the rival parties. Misuse of the constitution here means the misuse of the most controversial article 356 of the constitution. Article 356 of the constitution provides for imposition of the president's rule in the state. Its frequency increased sharply after 1967 elections when Congress party lost power in several states in India. This undermined the spirit of federalism. This weakened the federal spirit of the constitution. However, all this changed after 1990 when many regional parties emerged in different states. This was also the beginning of the era of coalition governments at the center. Since no national party was getting a clear majority in the Lok Sabha, they needed the support of other political parties to form the government at the center. So the circumstances forced them to make alliances with the regional parties. Naturally, this led to a new culture of power sharing and respect for the autonomy of state governments. Article 356 could not be used against the governments of these regional parties in their states. This led to respecting the independent working of the state. This trend was further supported by a major judgment of Supreme Court. The judgment given in the SR Bombay vs Union of India case in 1994 commonly known as SR Bombay case. This judgment restricted arbitrary imposition of president's rule in states. In other words, it became difficult for the central government to dismiss the state governments in an arbitrary manner. 
so the misuse of article 356 stopped after this judgment despite an increasingly higher number of states being ruled by parties other than that in the central government this happened due to two factors one the rise of the regional parties and two the intervention by the supreme court this way the federal power sharing is more effective today than it was in the early years after the constitution came into force so what we find in this topic is that one the linguistic states have only worked to strengthen the bonds of unity two the national policy on language is keeping with the spirits of federalism it inspires the confidence in different language speaking people that no language will be imposed on them it clearly shows the respect for diversity thus the language policy helps to strengthen the bonds of unity third an arbitrary dismissal of the state government by the central government has become difficult now i hope you have understood this topic properly so now read your textbook for a better understanding let us now see the probable questions from this topic what is meant by coalition government explain the new culture of power sharing that developed after 1990 this brings us to the end of today's topic in the next class we will read about decentralization in india till then keep reading and have a nice time thank you